Hello and welcome to another episode of Nerd Age where we discuss everything nerdy. My name is Mick. With me as always are my co-hosts Josh. What's up? Corey. Hello. And Jonah. Hello. Welcome back to the show, guys. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, Moon Knight episode four or five? Four. Four, four. yes. Four. Yes. Episode four is going to be our... <laughs> if there's a five, fifth one, I have <laughs> it's not caught up. A secret fifth episode. Um, no, so episode four, Moon Knight. Uh, we've all seen it, so what do you guys think? Yeah, I think since jo- uh, Jonah didn't do anything <laughs> last time, time. No, he, should, no. he should start. You're up to bat. I think people are excited that I didn't talk very much last week. Because <laughs> so. you didn't... Uh, Rain on their parade. Yeah. Um, take a dump on the show. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, ready. It was, so what did you think? And you, could, you could do a little quick little review over the last one real quick just to tell us your thoughts on it. Yeah. Um, the God stuff I thought was cool um, when they all like the council thing when okay. I came in. But at the same time, it I don't know how it makes sense because if I think about it, I have questions about it. Um, oh. But... Again, like the I, avatars, you mean? Like their yeah. avatars? Because they're not there. They're in right. a different they're, Paca realm or something like right. that. Right. Yeah. Um, I thought my favorite part was the beginning when he's kind of chasing the, the guys to try to figure out, and then it it flashes, you know, yeah. he like yeah. loses consciousness, and then he's like killing them. And he's like, What'd you do, Steven? And he's like, That wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was interesting. Um, and they kind of have in the next episode, they kind of tease that too, where. When he's in spoilers, when he's um, in the insane asylum, there's kind of another sarcophagus that's moving. Yeah. So I assume that's like the th- third personality. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm still not <laughs> spit it out. I'm so. still <laughs> not like it's it's fine, but it's not something that I'm super excited about. So what what do you think about the kind of like Indiana Jones esque like? you know, tomb raiding type kind of like feels like they go in, he's figuring out like with, with the history and Egyptian history, he's figuring out, Oh, this yeah. is why it's this way. And the whole eye of whatever. right. When he did the, eye thing, that was cool. Osiris, um, I just yeah. feel like it's not done enough. Cause then the same thing happened. I, to me, it's just really quick. Like even the aspect when he gets the, um, the, the, the papers from that, that one guy, you know, and he rips off the pieces and then they go out into the desert and they're looking for the constellations. So, oh, oh, oh right. also the mummy. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. The and sarc- so, sarcophagus and with then the stars it, with the stars. Right. And then it's just kind of like he gives the body over to Stephen and he figures it out. Yeah. But it's just kind of like, oh, oh, there it is. Kind of, I don't know. To me, it just. I mean, it definitely took a little bit longer than that, yeah. in my opinion. And obviously that was part of it was that they were rushed because of them being heavily guarded but the here, guy was suspecting here's my things. question so here's my biggest here my biggest kind of annoyance um was the scene this is in the third episode okay. so not in the fourth all right but when he's like he summons all the avatars right oh yeah they're in like and that. then they're the bad guys there or who we assume is the bad guy that they're trying to stop and they're like kind of doing the trial right um and he's just like blurting out like he's the worst, you right. know, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. To me, it was just seemed like really over the top. It was driving me nuts to be like the other gods kind of don't even question anything. They're just taking the guy's word for it. And I know there's a history of him like with the gods. So, yeah. But to me, that kind of drove me crazy. The other thing, too, that I was thinking about then, I was like, they have... I don't understand why they're all, if I'm thinking of a God with powers, right? And right. there's a portal that opens up and everyone exactly to where people are and they walk through this place. Yeah. Then why wouldn't one of them be like, well, let's follow and see where, where you came from. What are you doing? And find out that he's actually looking for the tomb. Like that to me is kind of like no one ever thought of to question that. If it's a council, yeah. you think a tribunal that would do that, something like that. Or even the um, Stephen or Mark or that God would then follow him through that portal to be like, because they're looking for it, looking for the tomb. They know he's already there. Yeah. To me, it just kind of was like, no one's thinking of doing something like that instead of like, oh, we, now we got to find this. That's going to tell us where he is, where he's already there. Right. So to me, it was just, that was just kind of like so something it, that I was like, eh, if I think about it. Yeah. So it feels like there's, they're definitely biased against Khonshu right. based on past experiences yeah. and 
And I think that's why they're just kind of like uh, dismissive of the claims. And you're right. I mean, it seems like being a god, you know, you, you might be able to do a little bit more, even though they can't come yeah. here and their their power reach is limited. Um, but yeah, I, I get that. I think it is supposed to be frustrating. It's like, come on, just look into it a little yeah. bit. But they, I think it's like, it's like the, they, I think they look at him like the boy who cried wolf. And it's like, he's done so much stuff that they're just like, uh, <laughs> right. Like, that's what I get the feeling from. So, I mean, you're right. It but is there's even like the one character that then the buddy of Khonshu. Right. Right. Yeah. And so that to me is kind of like no one spoke at, I don't know. To me, it just, yeah. it feels kind of like, we need to have more points and make it be like, oh, they're going on this quest. And so it's manufactured. So to me, it doesn't hold up as well, you know, to be like, oh, we need to find this tomb. They want to make it Indiana Jones like. But to me, it just kind of, I don't know. To me, it doesn't hold up You're in my that? opinion. Yeah. And I know that's a nitpick. And I know you guys like looking at Josh's face. He's yeah. loving that. Oh, he's yeah. eating that up. <laughs> But to me, (laughs) to me, it doesn't hold up. Sure, sure, sure. It just feels like manufactured. You know what I'm hearing right now? (laughs) By the way, all stories are manufactured. But okay, go (laughs) ahead. (laughs) What I'm hearing right now is feel that way. Why didn't Frodo just fly the eagle to Mount Doom to drop the ring in there? It's not not even close to the same thing. Okay. Well, yeah. Go ahead, Josh. No, that's fine. Well, no, I mean he (laughs) shared his piece. So go ahead. What do you think about it? yeah, well, I don't know what to say. It's a, I think it's a nip. I think you're nitpicking a little. I for said sure, it was a sure. nitpick for sure, before, for sure. so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> Josh. Yeah, so. Wait, Josh. you're not going to stand up and slap him right now, are you? No. Okay, I'm good. not like Ooh. that. <laughs> you're not Will Smith. Exactly. Now. We might get more <laughs> views that I'm way. Res- <laughs> I'm a respectable human being. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's not, a, not much to say. I mean, like, the thing about, like, the doorways, it's like, I'm sure there's rules that it's like, you can't just be like straight up be like, I'm just going to follow you through this. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, I, it's not just like a one thing where I'm like, Hey, this portal opened up and you're coming in here. Yeah. And I'm like, Hey, I'm just going to walk out with you real quick. <laughs> like, I hope that's cool. Yeah. yeah. But Khonshu, sh- Khonshu shows up throughout all these episodes is randomly showing up in places and disappearing and like doing all this stuff. And I'm like, and you can't figure out where this other guy is. Well, Isn't it because he's with, he's Mark only with though? his avatar. Okay, but you're right. He's you showing up everywhere the, where Mark is. You can yeah. set like the we don't know that he's appearing in everywhere else. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just saying it seems like. Well, like I, another this. question is like, well, what are these gods about? You know, do they even care? You know what I mean? Like, is there? I, I get a I get a breath of like um, corruption or or yeah. or maybe a minor degree of corruption, but more of like. Like, they just care about themselves. Um, yeah, with the suit guy. The suit guy, they're kind of building up that he's right yeah. in on it. Cause he, so, yeah. yeah. So I think I think, I think think this is playing into it. I think I think that they're going to... I mean, they've all obviously hinted towards that other god who's buddy-buddy with Khonshu or was buddy-buddy with Khonshu. They're going to have some kind of effect in that. Right. Um, freeing of him and, and maybe stopping of Amit. Amit, Emmett, Amit, not Emmett, Emmet. not Emmett Smith. Emmett. <laughs> Amit. Stop the cowboys. <laughs> stop. You can't stop. <laughs> he always gets through. But yeah, no, I, I, I think that um, that was probably a very frustrating moment for me, for me as well, just because, you know, they meant it to be that way. It's like you go to a judge and jury and they're like, where's your evidence? Well, it's, I just, I just, I just think that he's going to do it. I, he's doing it, but you don't have any evidence. So why should we even look into it if you don't have any evidence? I think that's kind of. It's more like a From judicial. someone that had cried wolf before. Exactly. So I think based on his past is what justifies their reaction to his claims. I think that's kind of the issue. But Yeah, I, I think that's how I saw the scene. I saw the scene as also, like we've said, like, do the other gods even care? Like, it just seems like they're just not that interested, uh, except for the one. But, yeah, um, yeah for me, the scene worked. Uh, I think the only part that and I think I talked about this last week, the only part that kind of turned me off a little bit was just the way that Conchie was speaking. To me, it just got a little goofy through Well, he doesn't... Oscar Isaac. He never talks like that in well, any we, we other went, interaction. But Conchie's never talking through him. So we went over this last week yeah. 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 where it felt, like, <laughs> it felt like he had never had this happen before. The other avatars, this is super, not, super normal for them. And it felt like almost like he was throwing up, you know, and, and that's how he was doing it. But I agree. It was a little weird. It felt a little yeah. Venomy-esque. But 
Um, that was last episode. <laughs> yeah. So, so maybe we should talk about this. You guys kinda, asked me but, what I thought about the last catching up. So I said, but when it comes to like, <laughs> well, what gods do care? You know, that that's a good question because it seems like the very end, I, I know I'm jumping to the very end, but to kind of like connect the two different episodes at the very end, you see this like hippo person, which <laughs> obviously a voice threw me off. Hi, you know, that was crazy. But I feel like that is a god of some, uh, you know, hippo god, right? And that god probably cares. There's going to be playing a role in this. They mentioned her I'm in sure. the first episode. Yeah, because he's there's like the and plush the toys that he's. Yeah. You know. So, mm. I, I think that there's. Uh, I hope they connect the dots really well, and that it's Ta what is I think the name Ta Ta Ret Ta We Ta We Ta We Too. But um, <laughs> you know, you know what this episode gave me vibes of Legion. Did you ever yeah. watch that? Yep. Chris yeah. and I thought the same thing. Yeah. So it felt very like weirdly similar. Um, just the, the, you know, after he dies, maybe gets shot. And yeah. it's like, I'm assuming in his own mind or something like that. But it feels like very much like Legion. So um, was Legion the X-Men? Yep. Yeah. He's uh, the mutant one. Xavier's mm-hmm. kid. Yeah. So um, I thought it was interesting. Um I was talking to Josh uh, this last weekend, and I was like, you know what? If we weren't watching this, you know, to review review it every, uh, every week, I might falter and maybe just stop watching it out of, like, lack of interest personally because, I don't know, it's just uh, for me it wasn't as engaging as I think that maybe for other people it's super engaging. Like, this is so interesting. Like, oh, he has, like, this own, like, existence in his own mind, and, like, that's really cool. But for me, I was just like, eh, it's okay. I've seen it before. I think that's the problem is that I've seen it before. And then the very end, it's like maybe, like, for me, the hippo was like a, like, for me. I was just like, that's not (laughs) cool. Like, I don't know. I mean, it might be fun for people and, and interesting, but for me, I was just like, oh, okay. All right, we're going there. Okay. You know what I mean? So... Um, I thought everything before that was it was cool. I actually liked the jump scares and stuff like that and that tomb raiding esque part of it. I actually liked that. I also like the reveal of Ex- Alexander the Great. Yeah. Uh being being that um avatar, found him. avatar for, for Ahmet and and uh betraying. That's really cool. I think that aspect of it's really interesting. Um that was the best part for me, was that yeah. reveal of Alexander the Great. Um how did he, you know, conquer all that the modern world, you know, probably through godlike powers. So I thought that was interesting. And I, I like them slow releasing this kind of like this history of gods and how they worked. And, and, but I want to know why they're hiding. I think that's the most uh, interesting part for me. I'm like, why are they, why are they locked away in this other realm and, and what's going on there? So, but what do you think, Mick, about um, this episode? You know, I, I, I kind of agree. I, I, to me, it still was exciting, even though it, that type of thing is played out. You know, I've, I've seen that before in other comics, other TV shows. It's nothing new that like, Oh, is it all a, a dream type of thing? What's reality? Mm. Well, I, I don't know. But, um, to me, it's interesting enough that it's still in Steven or Mark's mind. Um, and the fact that when we go there, it like, you have callbacks of like everything we've seen before in previous episodes. Yeah. All um, the people. Yeah, so to me, it's I, I'm I'm still enjoying it. I'm still along for the ride. Yeah, um, I am too. I'm just saying, like, if we weren't doing this, I might have maybe forgotten <laughs> to watch the next one. You know what I mean? And then maybe came back, you know, a little bit later. Yeah, on, you know what I mean. Um, but no, I, I I think the hippo tau, tauet uh, goddess at the end kind of threw me off a little bit too. Just sure, sure. the the comedic aspect of it. Yeah, yeah, um, how they're screaming. Yeah, that was like I was like, yeah. um, and they both have the exact same look. It was like the he, same person. Like he didn't act, but they're different people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, though. You yeah. know what I mean? They're different personalities. They have the exact same face. Yeah, it um, was like that. Still, I kind of in the hallway. Uh, I yeah. would have liked to because I think the fact that we see um, Mark and Stephen pretty pretty much right away when it's in this like, oh, was everything just. Did that even happen? Like the fact that we see them two together, it's like, okay, clearly this isn't um, like the world reality. Yeah. So I, I kind of would have liked to have them played that more, like question the audience, like, oh, what is actually happening? 
Um, cause now I'm like, okay, well I'm, I can kind of see where this is going to go. I I'm, I'm assuming that this is like, uh, like kind of the, um, limbo area kind of you're dead, but you're not in the afterlife yet. I think they, it's like that train station in Harry Potter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> King's cross station. Yeah. It's just cleaner. Um, um, but I think in like, uh, Egyptian mythology, it's like the the field of reeds is what they um, is what it's called. But um, so I I don't know. I've I, I enjoyed the episode. I liked the um, like over the top kind of Indiana Jones uh, mummy Tomb Raider stuff, and and I think it was I think it was done on purpose, just over the top because of the reveal we get where he's watching was it called Tomb Buster or something? Or, yeah, something um, like that. So I think uh, just to tie it into that, I think was done on purpose. But uh, yeah, I, I'm <laughs> still enjoying the episode. I, I, I can't wait for the next one. Like I'm like actively like excited about the so next you're episode. To it. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Josh? Good. I'm in the same boat, Mike. I'm All ex- right. I like the, yeah. Like this is still my favorite Marvel show. Yes. Uh, I'm excited for the next one. Uh, I enjoyed all like the. I enjoyed the mummy type stuff. Yeah. Um, those creepy. dudes that were those dudes were super creepy. Um, I think it's probably some of like the most like gory like yeah almost horror film stuff that we've got. In, yeah, like, definitely. MCU. Like yeah, just ripping the dudes' hearts out and stuff yeah. like that. Um, yeah, that was really cool. And then like that scene where you know you, you get the jump scares and stuff like that. I think Corey, you were mentioning it mm. um, with her. The one thing, the if I do have a nitpick, uh, I've been listening to Jonah too much. The one thing I didn't <laughs> like and I hate it when movies do this is the whole, like I'm going to fall off the cliff Mm. and then you're like zoom up and they're grabbing on. I'm like, well, the way you were falling, there's no way you would have been able to flip around and grab onto something. You know what I mean? That sucks in everything else besides return of the king. Return of the king does it. It's, it's still it's still pretty it's bad good there. Return of the King. It's actually. good there. I was actually thinking about that too. And I was like, yeah, I don't buy it the way Frodo falls that way. And then he's like, let me grab on. Spider Man. But hey, guys, it's, there uh, might have been a branch that's protruding underneath. Of <laughs> and then you grab the branch, and then their cl- that second hand is what's grabbing on yeah. the top no, rock. No, I buy it. Out of everything in the episode, like that's the one thing you have a problem with. Uh, I buy that. Yeah. Okay. There you go. That fits. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything else I really enjoyed. Um, I thought it was an interesting reveal, kind of like the, oh, is it in their minds? I think yeah. I'm probably fine with them basically confirming that it's not like it's actually really happening yeah um because i don't i would hate for them to go that route of like oh it's all in his head you yeah. know what i mean and then you can set him up outside of like you know he's doing other stuff in the mcu kind of a thing and that's why we didn't haven't seen anyone else yeah. kind of a thing uh so i was kind of glad i'm like all right yeah let's get through this like it's an interesting reveal mm. like he got shot and now we're you know figuring out a way to keep him alive kind of a thing yeah um, but yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I think I was uh, on board with everything. So the hippo thing didn't really bother me. Um, it was like, I can see I why think, yeah. that bothered you. I think if um, you like this episode, yeah, you're not bothered. I was just like, eh, okay. Yeah. Let's, like, yeah, it's obviously played for comedic effect. And yeah. I, and I think it's clearly, I think we talk about this all the time with Marvel. It's like, they don't want to go really dark. So like, I feel like this episode is pretty dark yeah. and then you've got them in an insane asylum and you know, and then you're like, all right, we're going pretty dark. And it's like, all right, just throw a hippo in for him. All right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she'll have a funny voice. Okay. Yeah. yeah there yeah. we go. Let's get him back in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Hi. Um, so, I, yeah, I mean, cool. it didn't really bother me all that much, but I can I can see why uh, you guys didn't like it. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't have him like in the insane asylum watching The Parent Trap with Lindsay Lohan, you know, just to be like, hey, look, at got the two guys acting as twins. They're not really twins. <laughs> Right, that should see, have been the Marvel humor. <laughs> see, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they're not listening. Yeah, I know, so weird. They don't listen. <laughs> would have been her. awesome. That's yeah, so weird. Then they could have avoided the hippo because it would have been funny, you know. Yeah, uh, but no, exactly. They're like hippo or Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, let's go with the hippo. I, I think for me, like, I'm really sucked into like all like the mystery side of things. Like, okay, who's the third personality? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So like when they showed the sarcophagus, like you said, Jonah, I was like, we gotta open it up. We I already know what that? it's gonna be. Samuel L. Jackson, he's going to come out. And he's not he's a He's a third personal, uh, first personality, and he's going to say, I'm putting together a team. <laughs> really? Of the, yeah. of the three yeah. of us. <laughs> yeah, it's just us. <laughs> <laughs> the um, Moon Knight Initiative. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think I think that's a reason why I I'm kind of like not as like happy or pleased with the series because I know I I really like the character of Moon Knight and I and I think that there's a lot of like potential with this character and I wish that it was darker and it's just just my tendencies of just wanting that to be a little bit more darker because when I look at like the different like set plays that they had basically during this whole um episodes I'm like yeah this could have been darker it could have been a little bit more like those guys were straight up like mummifying like taking out organs and stuff like that and it's like but they did it in such a way that felt like my mom was covering my eyes but i knew what was going on you know what i mean does that make sense like i I don't that doesn't mean that like i want to see guts like but i want to see it (laughs) like show and pull that brain i want to see it more interesting (laughs) and more like show the guy's face while he's pulling the heart out you know well it's like (laughs) i I wanted to see the realization or like the reality of it being a more serious situation because it felt very like um cartoony now i I know that Mm. sounds weird but for me it felt like like a like a like a not a scooby-doo episode but like (laughs) but you know what i mean like the way his looks were at the end with the hippo chick it's a hippo chick she was just like they're just like zoink scoob you know at the end like oh and then like i don't know run through one door and they come out this one then they're chasing (laughs) that's gotta happen (laughs) it's like i i I guess just not seeing that like yeah they had like dried blood on the ground but it's just like it just felt like they i mean for good reason they're obviously trying to keep it pg-13 like very pg and and it's just it's just a preference thing you know i just wish it was a little bit darker a little bit more real because it would have felt more serious and more like there's more at stake you know what i mean and I feel like right now nothing's at stake really, and I I just feel like it's very light, lighthearted, and like obviously it's not lighthearted, but that's the feeling I'm getting from how mm. they're like portraying each story point. Um, and obviously it gets shot at the end, but it's like it's not ob- going to matter. That doesn't even have weight to it, in my opinion, too. So it's just like yeah. that's what I'm kind of like. I don't know the solve, but I know that the character's interesting. I like the story behind the gods. That's interesting. But the way we're getting there, it just feels like this 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 six episode series. It feels like a tool to kind of just introduce the world of gods, and it's like it's a like you know what I mean because we're gonna be introduced and we're gonna be really delving into that in the next content like of Thor and stuff like that, and everything going forward is gonna be introducing the god centric storyline of MCU. So I don't know. That's just my. Yeah. That's just how I oh, feel yeah. about it. You know, I'm I'm super glad you guys are like really excited about it and and really looking forward to the next episode. Um, but yeah, that's that's all it is. That's that's it. That's thought, as deep as it goes for me. Yeah, <laughs> I thought the same thing with like him getting shot. To me, was like, well, I know it's not gonna. There's no way he's dead. And I was like, and the whole like intrigue of oh, is he in the insane asylum? Is this is the real reality or not? I'm like, it's not gonna matter at the end. Um, yeah. it's just gonna be like they're just gonna run through it. Yeah. And it's not going to, I was like, they probably won't even explain it to in a satisfying way for me because it's just going to be like, oh, that was unique and now we're back into it. So for me, I, I just don't, like you're saying, with stakes, to me, I don't, I, I, I haven't felt the stakes yet. I, I thought the interesting stuff was with... Um, Layla. With Layla and yep. her backstory. I was, I was exactly going to bring that up. That and was that the kind strongest of stuff emotion. And how Ethan Hawke's character is like, do you know what really happened? Yes. But I feel That's like, the, I feel like it, I assume... There might be a little more, but it also feels like it was kind of explained really quickly. Like, oh, yeah. no, it wasn't me. I took a friend there that was a bad person and I tried yeah. to save him. And I'm like, well, I hope there's more to it sure. than that. But I'll be disappointed if that was just it. You yeah. know, maybe if even it was the Avatar before that killed him or something like that. I don't know. So do you guys feel like it's moving quickly or you guys like the pace at which it's moving? I'll ask you, uh, Mick and Josh. Um, what do you guys think? Do you, you don't feel rushed in any way, or I don't really feel. You guys rushed wish at you could all. have a couple more episodes to spend more time on some stuff. Or I mean, so we have you feel two, good? we have two episodes left. This mm-hmm. is kind of like the like the high point, this the roller coaster, the beginning like of the what's, end. What's happening mm-hmm. next? Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't think it's moving fast at all. I, for the story that they've told so far, I think that they've done, in my opinion, a good job of you know, laying down characters, their motivations, keeping some mystery still. Um, mm. Cool. Um, I, I would like to see like some type of flashback to the, um, that sequence you guys are talking about with, uh, the day Layla's dad died. Yeah. And just, uh, seeing, you know, exactly what happened with, mm. you know, how Conchu actually, um, possessed or took over 
mark. Mm-hmm. I think sure. that'd be kind of interesting to see. But yeah, what about you, Josh? Yeah, for me, I think it's going fine. I mean, I think about like uh, the pace of like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. That was like, I was just like, didn't really care what was happening yeah. next. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was eight episodes. I mean, it felt like 16. Yeah. So I was like, <laughs> out of, I think out of all the Marvel shows, like obviously I'm one of those people that's like, if I like something, give me more of it. So I'm like, oh, it would be nice to have more. But I think they've struck a good balance of like giving you kind of the, kind of the lay of the land and then getting to the story and moving the story along Yeah, and not really kind of like dilly dallying around, you know, like, oh, let's focus on this and getting fed up with it and being like, all right, I want to l- learn more about this. I think it's... Sure. Um, I, th- I think the last episode was a little slow for me, but this one kind of sped up things. And I, overall, I think on average, I, I like the pace of the episodes. Yeah. I think with me, like you I agree with you. Falcon and the Win- winter soldier soldier was, it did feel slow, but I think that's also a product of kind of like what the content of the series was like one series is dealing with Egyptian ancient gods and all this crazy, awesome stuff yeah. like conceptually and Falcon and the Winter Soldier was just like not as epic. Gotta, not fix, even, the, gotta fix this boat. I got no money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even close to the scale I gotta and get epicness of, of this show. So I wish they yeah. swapped yeah. eight episodes over here, six episodes over here. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, I think that's kind of my biggest thing is I wish they could spend a little bit more time on things to, to kind of explain things and kind of get you more invested. Um but that's just that's just my preference on that one. Um, but yeah, I, I'm interested to see what they do with the last two episodes for yeah. sure. I'm, I'm interested to see how they tie this up. Is there going to be more of Moon Knight in the future? Um, didn't he only get signed on for just this series? That's what I've heard. He um, said he didn't sign the like you know like normally a, they do like a five the, ten yeah. year rule. Yeah. So I mean, hey, that makes me a little sad. But I I think I think the reception is really good with Moon Knight. I think the fans like it at least probably better than some of the other ones so uh, hopefully we see more of them yeah definitely That'd be cool i mean yeah. i think oscar isaac is knocking it out of the park yeah I, he's i mean do, would you agree that he's been yeah he's good um, <laughs> i like no i think him and ethan hawk are the best like acting wise yeah. i'm just not mm. as invested in the storyline yeah okay yeah that's fair but he's good like he's good in everything yes he is Everything? Everything. <laughs> Dune, Star Wars. Yeah, he's a good actor. The Nativity Story? Ex Machina. Ex Machina. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, yeah, so that was that episode. Huh? So you, as far as, like, for you guys, was that your favorite episode? Was that number one? Um, I don't think it was my favorite. I, oh, really? There was a better one? Uh, like, one of the first two or maybe, what? I'm trying to remember what happened in the second episode. I think episode. Two, was, two was probably the <laughs> Best one was, for me. What was the second okay. episode? What happened? Where he fights the invisible, invisible yeah. <laughs> beast, Mi- and the sk- he meets Layla for the, for the first time, time and he. Hey, I'll I'll stab you. Okay. In the, you're in my end. <laughs> I think it's the sting like a beam or yeah, <laughs> uh, or sting like, like a beam really yeah, well from the, cars, from the cars movie. Um, I I honestly I think I like the first episode the best. Mm-hmm. Um, not that I dislike the other ones at all, mm-hmm. but just the first one I think set up this character so well um that i find it hard to kind of pull back from that origin nice um, that we got but uh definitely didn't dislike this episode at all was this your favorite one so far favorite so far nice well that's good that's awesome anything else you guys want to say about the episode uh i don't think so um yeah i'm i'm curious how much time we'll spend next episode and like this insane asylum in between worlds, uh, place where Mark and Steven are at. Um, I, I'm assuming for a good chunk of the next episode, yeah, and then maybe and get set rescued up the, by the end or yeah, yeah set up the finale. This is what I think. I think I think he's in his own conscious. He's in his own mind. His own conscious. Conscious, conscious. And I think that this God is gonna help bring him out of it and yeah. and kind of help him get figure things out. Basically, is what I assume. Um, but that's what I'm... That's not the friend, right? I, I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't so. think so, because no. the other one has played a harp. Yeah, she's the yeah, god of music, a, and yeah. I know this, this is the hippos, the god of fertility. And god of hippos. Yeah. yeah. Just hippos. <laughs> hey, hippos are crazy, dude. Have you they seen are them, super like, strong. Yeah. Bite, uh, 
A watermelon? Yeah, they smash them. Yeah. That's Apparently, they're, they're like, they're like the, 100% awesome. like in Africa or whatever. Like they're they're in Africa. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> or whatever. Um, like the amount of people that get killed yeah. by hippos is insane. Yeah. Well, it's more than they're strong like lions. Yeah. It's not it's scary. Now that's what? a series I want to watch. <laughs> it's called Planet Earth. <laughs> no, I want to. I want a series. Moon Hippo. Oh, okay. <laughs> hippo Night. Maybe yeah, that sounds it. dope. <laughs> hippo Night. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I'm I'm excited to see the next episode. Comes out in two days, so. Mm. Yeah, that'll be good. As of this recording. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, so I think that'll do it for episode four, mm-hmm. uh, review of Moon Knight. Um, thank you all for watching and uh, subscribing to the show. Uh, leave a like and comment down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Bye. See ya.